So this video relates to the Alex topic, arc length and area of a sector, which also relates to work we've been doing in class. However, it's presented a little differently than how we've done it on Alex. So I wanted you to see it this way as well. So what we've got here is a circle with center at O and our radius is gonna be two yards. And our goal is to find the arc length of A, D, B, so the arc length of this shaded section, which when we write it in our formal notation, right, we have our M here, but instead of doing an angle, we draw an arc over it. And this means the measure of the arc length. We also, want to find the area of the sector, so our shaded area. We are also told, sorry, last piece of given information, that this central angle is 80 degrees, which would be a really nice temperature, actually, right about now. It'd be really nice to go sit outside in some 80 degree weather, but is not the case. So here we are doing math instead. Woohoo! Love it. We know that if this is 80 degrees, we can easily find this central angle. And we're gonna need that to find the arc length and the area of the sector. All right, so that looks like, hopefully we know that in order to find the difference, we need to do some subtraction. We get 280 degrees. That would not be such a good temperature to sit outside. That would be quite miserable, actually. Um, alrighty. So, formula for the arc length. Remember, it is your angle divided by 360 multiplied by the circumference of your circle. So we know the radius. We just found our angle. So we can go ahead and plug those values right into our formula. Now, just to keep it easier, we're going to leave this in terms of pi. All right. So we're going to keep everything as a fraction. First step, let's simplify this 280 over 360. They're both divisible actually by 40. So that's going to bring us all the way down to 7 ninths multiplied right, by 4 pi. And even though we're keeping pi as it is, we can multiply our constants there. So we get 28 ninths multiplied by pi and our unit is yards and so 28 pi yards is the arc length a d b now the shaded sector remember the formula for the area of a sector looks very similar we're still doing our angle theta divided by 360, but this time we have to multiply by the area of the circle. Oh my gosh, not two. Ha, huh. I was even thinking area. I said area, and I still almost wrote the formula for circumference. So pi r squared. Now, we're working with the same values here, so because we know what this 280 over 360 simplifies to, I'm gonna go ahead and write in 7 ninths right away. So we're finding 7 ninths of our total area. And now, because our radius was two, right, two is like the only number 
where we multiply it by 2 and 2 squared gives you the same thing, right? Because 2 squared is 2 times 2. So ordinarily, they won't be the same. There is, however, still a minor difference. So mathematically, we once again get 28 ninths times pi. But our units, instead of just being yards, we want to make sure we're writing yards squared because we are now working with area. So I highly recommend you give this topic in Alex a shot. It is in the circles pie slice, and you've got lots of notes on it by now. And if you have any other questions, let me know.